another setback in the COVID-19 vaccine rollout as all Bay Area counties are now pausing the use of all remaining doses of a specific batch of the Moderna vaccine. This after fewer than 10 people at a San Diego site had, quote, significant allergic reactions. While the number was low, doctors say it's a higher than expected negative reaction. Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Natalia Daniel of Oakland was vaccinated last week lot number. and checked to make sure she didn't receive a dose from the lot now under investigation. Definitely relieved. <laughs> um, I was actually a little concerned that this was going to somehow affect my next dose of the vaccine. More than 330,000 doses of this single lot were distributed across the state between January 5th and 12th, including tens of thousands of doses across the Bay Area. Local counties say they've either used the dose without issues or are temporarily halting the use of this specific batch. I think it's sad because, again, there isn't that magic stockpile that we've been hearing about from the national uh, and the feds. And there is no replacement immediately for this Moderna vaccine lot that, be, that has been put on pause. UCSF's Dr. Peter Chin Hong says it's likely the lot will be released again after investigators can get a closer look at what may have triggered the issues in San Diego. He says if you don't have a reaction to the vaccine right away, you're in the clear. When you get these severe allergies, they occur within 15 minutes usually. So if people have gotten these vaccines already, there's absolutely zero to worry about. Though local counties worry about the strain on their already low vaccine supplies. Lily Tan, NBC Bay Area News. COVID-19 vaccines. Two people died after receiving Pfizer's vaccine, under investigation. COVID-19 vaccines may induce allergic reactions, especially those with a history of severe allergies. But fatalities from getting vaccinated are yet to be established. Recently, two deaths are being linked to the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The two individuals were nursing home residents in Norway. They died after receiving the vaccine. The Norwegian Medicines Agency is investigating the situation to determine if the cause of death has anything to do with the vaccine. NMA Medical Director Steiner Madsen said, We have to assess whether the vaccine is the cause of death, or if it is a coincidence that it happened soon after vaccination. According to YO News, NMA is working with Norway's National Institute of Public Health to unravel the cause of death. Right now, investigators couldn't say whether the vaccine contributed to their deaths. They also commented on the cases as coincidental since the residents were of advanced age. Still, they aren't jumping to conclusions without concrete evidence. The US CDC confirmed the rates of adverse reactions to Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. As of December 23, 2020, 1,893,361 doses of the vaccine were administered in the US. There have been 4,393 or 0.2% of adverse event recipients submitted to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. Of that, 175 cases were classified as severe allergic reactions, which included 21 cases of anaphylaxis. Based on available data, the anaphylaxis rate of the vaccine was 11.1 per million doses administered. The average time between vaccination and onset anaphylactic symptoms was 13 minutes. No fatalities were reported in 175 identified severe allergic reactions. Because there's a chance to develop anaphylaxis, the CDC recommends vaccinators to prepare treatment for severe allergic reactions. People who develop such reactions are no longer advised to take another dose of the same vaccine. Those with a history of severe allergies must reconsider taking COVID-19 vaccines. They must consult with their doctor first to know if they may suffer an allergic reaction. While health organizations and vaccine makers showed openness to the matter, the public trust may have dwindled. 
Misinformation may lure people into thinking allergic reactions aren't normal during vaccinations. Experts already told the world that like other drugs, vaccines may trigger allergies in anyone, including those who haven't realized they have one. The Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine has an efficacy rate of 95% based on clinical trials. It is yet to show efficacy against the new coronavirus variants. 